Hey friends, welcome to July and another month of grocery hauls. For all of 2022, I have been putting together all of my grocery hauls for the entire month in one video. If you've missed the previous videos for this year, I'll leave those down in the doobly-doo for you. After kind of blowing my budget in June, I tried to rein it in a little in July. Did I succeed? Did I fail? Only time will tell. Hold on to your hats, grab a beverage, and enjoy the video. It's July 7th, and I didn't need to buy anything because of this full freezer and this pantry and because of this. Hey, stop eating my box. And because of this and this. I don't technically have to go buy anything. I really, really don't. Really. In fact, I probably shouldn't have bought what I bought today, but it's the seventh. I was out filming a video for you guys. It's a different video. You will have already seen it. I ended up with some things I needed for the video, which is why, I don't know, I feel like I spend more on groceries than I would if I didn't do YouTube. Like all these pizzas. Like this package of wings. But the other items were mostly because of Ibotta. I spent $154 on this. That's not a lot of food for $154 because most of it is packaged food. That's the secret. Like prepackaged, delicious, yummy, fun food is very expensive. I did get $21 back on Ibotta. $21 back, so that would be $130. Three? Did I math that? $133. These are all Ibotta deals. The Quaker Simply Granola is the best store-bought granola. You will not change my mind. You won't. It's, it's so delicious. And even though this is an expensive box of cereal, it is 24 ounces. It's very big. Uh, I believe it was $1.50 back on these boxes. The protein granola we're just going to try also $1.50 back on these boxes. Girl Scout cookie knockoffs. Chicken dipping sauce, because you always need that. Some broccoli florets to do a stir fry. The rock stars were on Ibotta also. I think these are 75 cents back, making these uh, half price. Two of my favorite of the clear American, peach and Fuji apple, the best. I think it was $1.50 back on these, so they're still expensive. It ended up being $5 a jar instead of $6.50, but we're just gonna try them. Like, they look super fancy, no added sugar. Avocados were finally a good price, 88 cents each. Rock hard rock hard so uh, they'll sit for like five weeks and then go brown overnight this was for my video we're doing a taste test here every flavor of walmart's flatbread pizza barbecue chicken buffalo chicken mexican street corn nacho chicken chicken bacon ranch and pizza i mean and pepperoni and mozzarella the panda's orange sauce so bomb, especially with uh, this broccoli right there. A cucumber to have with our dinner tonight. We're gonna have like these big salads. We're trying out this Parmesan garlic wing sauce. Had to buy wings for that, so here we go. More cereal from Ibotta. I think it was a dollar back per bag of the multi meal. Had to be a bigger bag. So I just thought like this and these, like you can stock up on this kind of stuff and keep it for six months. So I thought this would be nice for back to school in like six weeks. Can you believe it's that soon already? Huzzah, magic powers. Cocoa Pebbles, the Frosted Mini Wheats, and two of the Golden Snacks, Sugar Snacks, whatever. I need to go back and get some produce, I think. Like this is, this is like no produce at all. I might be seeing you again tomorrow. Hi, Rogue. What you doing? You're such a big girl. Oh, yeah. Here's the truth about doing YouTube videos. Everything in here is specifically for a chicken freezer meal video. So this $74 that I spent on these items were specifically to create a video for you. I will most likely be giving away most of these freezer meals to people who live in my town, in my neighborhood, things like that. But we will add the $74 because I spent it. The Walmart grocery delivery has been life-changing. I paid the $50 for the year or whatever it was, but as someone who like makes cooking videos all the time and I need to have these ingredients and I go through these recipes and I figure these things out, it saves me two hours. Every time I do a video like this, by using the delivery, because I just type it into my computer. I tell them what I want it to be delivered to my house, and it is there. It is life-changing. If you haven't done Walmart grocery delivery, I, th I think I have a code for $20 off if you want to sign up for the Walmart Plus thing. So I'll leave that down below if you are interested at all. So this is the chicken freezer meal marinades video. If you haven't seen that yet, you I will have already published it. I'm starting with lots of chicken. <laughs> I have two packages of the chicken tenderloins, a boneless, skinless thigh, and a package of drumsticks. I have also more chicken breasts in the freezer that I will be using. A bunch of broccoli, that's for a side dish. Some zesty Italian dressing, ranch dressing packet, brown gravy packet, 
some naan, some lemons, some limes, a Caesar salad kit. We'll be eating that tomorrow. Three bunches of cilantro, a cabbage, and some kale. $74. Isn't that shocking? Most of it is actually just over here with um, all the chicken. All of these items, put that into July, and let's go check out the uh, package I just got. So here's the deal. I made a video a year ago, a year and a half ago, where I talked about how making uh, daily harvest shakes yourself at home was like a fifth of the price. But I gave a link to people who wanted to try it anyway. And sometimes I accumulate some referral credit and put it in order. So that is what this is. So this box did not cost me anything. However, if I hadn't paid for it, it would have been like $65, I think. I think I still do have that link below if you wanna check out. And I've been liking the oatmeal bowls now that it, I think there is sugar in this, but it sure doesn't taste like there's any sugar in this. So I add sugar, but I like the apple cinnamon one, uh, strawberry and peach. Uh, those are pretty good. Dave likes the strawberry peach shake, pear cranberry, and the passion fruit pineapple are his favorites. I have nine shakes and three oatmeals in this box. So I'm just gonna go put all those in the freezer, but let's just go ahead and add $65 to the total like I did pay for these because Dave is definitely drinking one every morning. Now I gotta go make sure they're not gonna ship me another box by accident. That's where I always mess up. I get a second one because I forgot to cancel it. So I gotta go cancel it. Hello friends, it is July 15th and welcome to another grocery haul. I in fact already recorded this for a separate video, which you will have already seen. It is part four of my feeding a family for $25 a week. But because this was $48, you can tell that I'm having a very hard time feeding my family for $25 a week. In fact, I failed completely. The cost was in fact about double. I will put all four parts of that series down below for you if you wanna go check them out if you haven't seen them yet. So let's add $48 to the grocery count on July 15th. Let me put this away and then I'll show you what I picked up at my discount store today. I went in just to see what the Costco overflow looked like. This was like $75, It feels like a lot now that I'm looking at it. Two boxes of the Nature's Bakery Fig Bar for eight, 49. These were returned to Costco because the person that purchased them did not like them. Almond dark chocolate biscotti for $5.49. It was returned because the customer did not like it. That's what most of these were. Uh, one package is missing here. It's $4.59 for these fettuccines. Taiwan ramen. There's only six in here, so it was about half price. The Go-Go Squeeze Organics, $8.49. They did not like them. Originally, $15.79. So if you can find a discount store that does Costco overflow like this, you can get some serious savings. The Bobo's Oat Bites for $6.49. This was not from Costco. They just had them, and I thought $1.59 for the Kashi Coconut Almond Crunch was pretty good price. I picked up some Immunity Elderberry from Ollie. This is $4. There's these little packets. I thought that was cool. And I've purchased these at Costco before. So these are 59 cents each. They're not in the box. Like it comes in a box. So they must have just separated it out and sold them individually. And then same thing here. This usually comes in a big case, but they were 50 nine cents a can, which I think is really, really good. That's a great price for these. So all of these are going into like snacks, long-term food storage, things like that. Um, some great finds at the discount store today. If you wanna try and find a discount store in your area, all you have to do is go to the Google. You type in discount grocery store, salvage grocery store, uh, look through the list, see what's there. Maybe give them a call, see if they're in business, what type of things they carry. That's gonna be it for today. I'll see you in a few days. After spending over five hundred dollars on groceries in june this july has really not been about spending money on groceries i have gone to the grocery store extremely little didn't get very much mostly because we have been eating what we've had and we've been too busy playing to spend time on cooking right now for lunch i'm like i don't know make some sandwiches i do have a walmart pickup order that I will show you in just a few minutes. It should be ready in about an hour. But while we wait for that, let me show you how I'm utilizing what we have to feed my family without going shopping. So July is gonna be a little slim. Let's uh, let's check out the freezers and find dinner. Oh, oh my gosh, whose symphony bar is this? Oh, I bet that's Haley's and I want, I want it. Okay, we're gonna do this right here. Ba boom Burgers for dinner. Should I also do brats or you think that's a bad idea? <laughs> Dave had a brat situation on the grill. Forgot about it. 
now know what a brat looks like after two hours on the grill. Yeah, it's not pretty. Okay, now that I'm doing this, I really hope we have burger buns. Yes! Okay, good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven burger buns. Here we go. Boom. I think there's only four patties in this package, so we're gonna run down to the basement freezer. I think I have another box of burgers. So we're just gonna go check it out. I feel like there should be scary music. Oh yes, right there. Four patties, okay. Oh my gosh, bagels, yes. Okay, I'm gonna get out this, like I still have bread in here, so I'm gonna get out these bagels and this bread. Um, for the next week or so. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna do this hot Italian sausage for dinner tomorrow. We're gonna do pasta with artichoke hearts and mozzarella. That's gonna be delicious. Okay, so I'm planning tomorrow as well. So here, I got a whole bunch of stuff out of the freezer. Yeah, I think we're doing just fine. Like this rigatoni would be really, really good. So let's pull the, out this rigatoni and do this. And I'm gonna make my own sauce and yes, instead of using a jarred spaghetti. So we'll do this Italian ready cut tomatoes. That sounds good. Okay, here's dinner tonight. I have eight burger patties. The buns right here have some veggies and toppings in the fridge. And then this is gonna be dinner tomorrow. This is thawing out my hot Italian sausage with rigatoni. I'm gonna make a sauce with that and some onion and artichokes right there. <laughs> dinner for the next two nights without really any effort at all. Okay, now let's go to my Walmart grocery pickup. <laughs> this was my Walmart pickup. I did pick up a few other things that were household goods, not food. This is what I ordered for food. This mustard, this rice vinegar, it cost me $3. I am done grocery shopping for the month. I don't feel like I spent a lot but as I look back over some stock ups at the beginning of the month, I spent more than I meant to, which means Christine needs to stop stocking up. Stop stocking up, that's what it is. I have spent a total of $398, which feels like a lot because I have barely gone shopping in the previous 10 days. We've definitely been eating a lot of what we've had around of it going in the pantry. I'm like, look at this ramen, look at this mac and cheese. Like I have two things of pickles. <laughs> this chicken is thawing out. We just made these a couple days ago. Three waffles. What's this, a little ranch? A little ranch cup. I made egg salad for dinner yesterday. And this is some bananas I got out of the freezer to thaw. Not a lot going on. You wanna know what I had for dinner yesterday? One of these, beans with bacon. I was like, look, canned soup, let's just eat it. What's super interesting is if you add up all the grocery hauls for the entire year through the end of July of 2022, I have seven months of data right now, it averages out to $402 and about 30 cents. Yes, I absolutely have been pulling from my pantry and my stockpile of freezers. However, I have also been purchasing specific ingredients for videos and restocking up on deals when I find them. So even though I am depleting some of the stuff I have, I am restocking some of the stuff I have. I think that's pretty dang good. I suspect August is be a little crazy because we have back to school coming. We're gonna do a big back to school shop for the school lunches, after school snacks, quick and easy breakfast because hot breakfast before your kids go off to school, I have too much sleep to take care of <laughs> to mess with that. That's why I like meal prep and pancakes on the weekends. That is going to wrap up July's grocery hauls. Thanks for hanging out with me this month and I'll see you in August. Bye-bye.